Hello, Ashley here. So I'm going to be doing a reading for the week of August 19th through the 25th. I'm just going to kind of pull some cards and just see like what we need to know this week and kind of what's coming up. We'll just go from there. So um, I'll just start. <laughs> so what do we need to know week of August 19th through the 25th? I'm just kind of sorry it's important for me to be able to hear <laughs> so that's why I'm like not saying anything <laughs> but I also like to pull the cards like while I'm doing it So I just pulled four from the stack and I used Wisdom of the Oracle for the first. Now I'm going to use Energy Oracle to clarify the cards that I already pulled. So, one second. <laughs> And I do set the intention that this like reaches whoever it reaches whenever they reach it and they're supposed to see it whenever they're meant to see it. So like if you happen to see this on a week that's not the 19th to the 25th of August, the information is still for you. So if it resonates for you, just take the information. Um, if not, leave it. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be like if you see this video and it's not like the 19th to the 25th, um, it's just whenever this message reaches you, it's meant to reach you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I just asked, like, what do we need to know for the week? So the first card that came up is Mending. So this, um, and it came with, this is the card I used to clarify it. So it came with action. And um, so what I feel um, for this week is, like, um, especially, like, in our country, we have just been run on our, like, distorted masculine energy which is all about like only take action. It's about go, go, go. Um, and I feel like we're learning to incorporate more of our like feminine energy. And um, this can be very hard for us to like comprehend, especially the ego, um, because we have been like trained um, to like set aside, like um, taking care of like our personal health and like our mental health and emotional health and to just like work as hard as you can make as much like money as you can and I just feel like we're really learning to heal that like we're mending um this distorted action it's more about like taking um like conscious action or taking like inspired action um so we're just learning when to take action and when to like rest and so I feel like and with like the two horses on here like the white represents like 
the spiritual and the the dark horse represents more of like the material so this like i feel like this is like also like um taking action towards like um those like dreams you've been manifesting like and the spiritual like so starting to like ground more of like your desires and starting to make movement and action forward towards what you've been like daydreaming about or like imagining or like creating in your mind and like your ideas um what it is you want to do um so instead of like only like daydreaming it's actually about like taking the necessary like steps forward and it's not about like overworking yourself or like pushing yourself like when you notice that like you're feeling tired it's just time to rest you don't give up completely you just you know you learn to nurture yourself you learn to take care of yourself and so i feel like people will be like burning themselves out because they don't know how to incorporate that like stillness and so we're learning we're mending we're learning how to take action in a more conscious way in a more um Sorry, I'm just like, just in a more like inspired way, instead of only like focusing on the outside or only like taking action because you're going to receive a certain outcome. Um, but just taking action and taking action doesn't mean like, I don't know, it could be anything, whatever you feel like inspired to do, or if you feel like you should go this direction or you should go this direction. It's about like using your intuition to take action instead of just like doing the same thing over and over again. Um, and I feel like that's what's coming up too is like, cause we're doing the same thing over and over again, but it's like not getting us anywhere new. And that come the next card I pulled is round and round in reverse. So I think I'm gonna read this card actually. Give me a second. Okay. So in the reverse, this would be like the protection mission. So are you refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to re relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are the common denominator in all these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. And this is perfect because the card that I pulled to clarify that round and round is blossoming abundance. So that's perfect. <laughs> I love those two together. Um, so I just feel like it is. And this and the lesson that we're learning, especially here in the United States and America, um, we have a huge attachment to money. <clears throat> and so um, we might start like creating financial um like loss um or like it may seem like you know like you're not getting anywhere or like you're you're taking so much action you're working really hard you're maybe you're, you're picking up extra hours you're you know trying to make as much money as possible but it just doesn't seem like it's enough and that's because it will never be enough because especially in our country we have like a, a scarcity mentality it's a very and it's funny because two of the cards here that i pulled are like about lack so it's like um, three actually. So it's just about like, um, you, you're you gonna feel like you're in the same situation over and over again um, until we learn to shift our mindset about abundance and about, um, about money. Um, and so it's about focusing more on your value and the value that you have, um, especially if you carry a deep sense of lack um, on a soul level, because we learn in contrast, will um, create some sort of like, financial loss, a career loss, maybe even like a physical health like loss um, to kind of show us what we need to be grateful for. And we kind of get caught in too much like we want more, 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 and it's never enough. And we're always constantly searching because we never feel feel fulfilled. And that's because um, money will never make us feel fulfilled. So we're learning to take action from a more like 
soul level. So what does your soul want? It's important to listen to what, what does your soul want? And you can still create money. Um, and that's like the whole point of like the paradigm shift I feel is learning to create um, abundance from a more spiritual um, include like incorporating that into our lives so that we live a more fulfilling, abundant life, a more prosperous life. Um, and, and we don't like neglect our health because part of the um, reason like in America, like our healthcare industry is making so much money um, is because we neglect our health to, um, to like, like we're always like digging and searching for like, and like, some people tend to like, especially people that make a lot of money, um, it tends to get to their head and then um, they they neglect everything else, like their family. Um, they don't spend enough time with their family because they think that they have to provide and they think that they have to work so hard. But really, this is about working smarter, not harder. It's about using the universal laws to create money. It's about using the law of attraction to create abundance for yourself. And um, you can do that by shifting your mindset. And this is important, like, if you do have a job and, like, to continue working, but also continue, like, shifting your thoughts about the money. And if you're in a position now and you just feel, like, drained or you feel like you're in a place that you don't want to be or you do want to quit your job, but it's just not time yet, um, maybe you're saving up money so you can quit your job so you can pursue what you actually want to do and stop living this life that's not fulfilling <laughs> anymore and so and and that's really what we're gonna start feeling is that like nothing fulfills us anymore we don't have enough and the more we focus on i don't have enough the more um we attract lack to ourselves so that's what i mean is you might um create like financial loss career loss um because it's not good enough for you and so your energy is sending out you know like this isn't enough this isn't enough and so you know, it's going to be taken away. But if you focus on how much you already have, whether it be a job, a relationship, um, like a career, whatever it is, like money, um, even if you don't have a lot of money now, just focus on all that you do have. And it's just, it's teaching us how to, like this card says, to take responsibility for our own, um, like what we created. So, um, but so the lesson is to um, see where you've created this, like, especially I just feel like if people have created financial loss um, or if they're struggling really hard with money right now, I'm with you, you know, I feel you. Um, and so, but it's about shifting your mindset and focusing on your value. What do you have to offer the world? And it's just about recognizing your value because that's what's most important. And when you don't know your value, like I said, you create things to make you to make you learn this lesson on a soul level. So you, in contrast, learning from a soul level, you would create the opposite to help you learn. And it just helps you, it humbles you because I put myself in a position, a position like that. And it really did humble me. And it also taught me how to focus on all that I have and all that, all that is coming to me. I just um, had to change my, my mindset. And as you change your mindset, because your, your thoughts are energy, you're shifting your energy. So it's about focusing more on all that you already have. Like we're already so abundant, but abundance is a mindset. And so if you feel like you don't have everything you need, um, <clears throat> then you never will. And so um, it's just about focusing on all that you already have and feeling abundant within so you can create it without. So then um, the next one card that I pulled was time to go in the reverse. And with that, I pulled cornucopia in reverse. So, and this is like the same thing um, as like the abundance. So it's like all your wishes, all your dreams, you know, it's like in, in reverse, it's all about like it, you feeling like everything's being withheld from you. And so um, I feel like with the time to go in reverse, it's like um, letting go of certain things and um, knowing that they will be returned to you in the right time. Like whatever is meant to be for you will not be missed. Um, but you might have to experience a time of like hardship, especially because people are awakening right now and our souls came here to do this and to shift the paradigm and to awaken. Um, and so 
it's going to feel like, and I just feel like that's coming off as loss. Is a lot of people are feeling like grief and a lot of shame and a lot of guilt and a lot of blame and a lot of anger, you know? And these are just lower energy frequency, like lower energies that just want to be like purged out, but we have to recognize them and we have to see like where we created them and where we're, where we're constantly thinking about how much we don't have. I just feel like that's huge for us in America is we do have a very, we're consumers. And so we're always constantly like, give me more, give me more, give me more. And we're never just grateful for what we have, you know, we're always searching for more. And so <clears throat> as we continue to like hold on so tightly to what it is we, we think we desire, like we're only like, we're only resisting more. We're only sending out like a, you're actually sending out a like a energy of like rejection is what it is. So it's like about letting it go, but oh, but knowing that it will come back to you when it's meant to come back to you. Like nothing that's meant for you will ever be withheld from you. I especially feel like this, like with money um, coming up and people's like wishes and their dreams and their desires. This could be career. This could be like a relationship. These could be things that you're desiring. Um, but this is saying that like, it's time to like walk away, but knowing that spirit is always like, will always provide for you what you need and um, believing that and <clears throat> and just knowing that nothing will ever be withheld from you if um, but you have to like let it go like I mentioned that before is like um, it's like a lot of um, like we have a lot of karma and so we're healing that and like this is like to shift into to the new we have to let we have to release the old um, and that can be really scary. It can be scary to like release the old, but what's going to come in is something even better. Um, because the more you focus on your old thoughts and you don't change your thoughts and you don't, you don't do something different, you're going to keep like, just like this round and round cards up. Like if you don't do anything different, like you can't respect and, or you can't expect any other results, you know, you can't expect new results. So like, what is it like? old doors won't open new ways or something like that. That's, that's just what I feel like. It's like, um, like you can see here that she's like going, you know, she's walking away and there's a door right there. Oops. And so it's like, um, I think it's just like learning to like walk away and knowing whatever is meant for you will not miss you. And so, um, you maybe feel like, um, your dreams or your, your wishes and like your hopes and your desires are like too far out of reach or they seem like they're never going to happen. And it's about shifting your mindset and, and recognizing that your dreams are already here, um, that you already have everything you need right here, right now. And so um, it may feel like, you know, like things are like slipping away or being taken away from you. And um, that's just a message to say that like whatever is meant for you, will not be withheld from you. Whatever was meant to be for you cannot miss you. So um, I feel like it's about like letting go and trusting that you're moving in the right direction and trusting that like, because I feel like I've mentioned before, like people are seeing like um, visions of their future and like they know what's meant for them, like on a soul level, we're, we're, we're recognizing this. And so our soul is going to be wanting to be reaching for more, but it's about living in the moment. It's about being present it's about um, allowing ourselves right now to be in this, because we're in this space of like, like I said, we're feeling a lot of anger, a lot of like frustration, a lot of, and the more we stay here, the more we continue to dwell on our lack and dwell on our lives aren't where we want them to be yet, you know? Um, and that's why the mending with the action is like, we're going to like burn ourselves out mentally if we continue to like, we're not enough. We're not good enough. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. But it's like, you're always right where you're meant to be. You're in the perfect position where for your soul's growth right now. So whatever you are facing, like, like I said, I feel like a lot of loss, just a lot of lower base energies are coming up. And this is just to like, teach us. So if you change your mindset to like, whatever is happening to me right now is for my growth. It's for my highest good. And if you just start to see the best in whatever is happening right now, that switch, that like shifts your mindset, that shifts your energy to I'm already abundant. I already have everything I need. I do not lack anything. And um, by doing that, then that's when our dreams and our desires come towards us, you know? Um, 
because we have to be in alignment with with the ener- same energy as our dreams, our hopes, our wishes, our desires. Um, so I just feel like that's what we're, we're just learning to like let go and trust that, like especially I feel like with relationships and with love, um, it's about just like some people I feel like are being guided or asked to like, especially if you're in a relationship and it feels right, like you're meant to be with this person, but you're feeling like you need to separate. I feel like separation is coming up and um, like letting go and just like um, knowing that like, if it's meant for you, it'll come back to you. And if not, then it wasn't meant for you. And then that's, that's even more beautiful because um, one for that person, they need to be let go so that they can find their own soul path and if you know like especially because relationships a lot of people have been in relationships because for material based reasons but we're we're shifting and so um it's more about the spiritual and like craving a soul connection and so um whatever is meant for your soul like will be just about like focusing on yourself and focusing on your own energy focusing on all that you already have because um like i said when you're just in a mentality of lack or like envy or like you're jealous of like other people that have lots of money or you're jealous of people you envy people that are in like healthy relationships and the more you like hate on them the more you like envy them um the more you're you're sending lack to yourself so when you see a couple a happy couple like send them love and smile and be like i can't wait for that someday you know or when you see people with lots of money like don't envy them just be like that's awesome like they probably worked really hard to get where they're at and if they didn't and it was handed to them you can tell by the kind of person they are but and it doesn't mean that they don't deserve it they're probably just learning a lesson too um a lot of people that have a lot of money um are still feeling unworthy on the inside they're still feeling not fulfilled and they always thought you know the money like if i had lots of money if i was rich you know people will like me i'll have lots of friends i can do whatever i want i can have this and i can have that yeah but those things aren't fulfilling to the soul and so it's more about incorporating that spiritual life into our material life because the material life is important and having money is important but it's the mindset around the money and you just have to change the mindset around the money Especially like for me, I had experienced many of lifetimes in America as a businessman. And um, because it's awesome that you can become, you know, like own your own business in this country, you know. And so I've done that in many lifetimes. Like I said, um, I was always like, I always like neglected my family. I always like neglected myself. And I like died at young ages because. I didn't care. I didn't, you know, like I didn't trust anybody. I didn't have a fulfilling life, but I had lots of money. Um, And in this lifetime, I just wanted to do it different. I wanted to create something for myself, but I wanted it to come from the heart and the soul. I wanted to help people and earn money doing that. And so um, it's just about like, because we can get two in our heads and think that money is the only thing that matters. And um, or like if you're just not enough or like you don't believe, especially men, I feel like if they don't have enough money, they feel like they're not good enough, like to be in a relationship or, you know, like they, they have, they carry like this provider mentality because, you know, it's it's just been conditioning them for a really long time. And so they're going to want to feel the need to like overly provide. And if they don't, like, they'll never feel like they have enough because, and they'll never feel good enough. And so, um, it's really about changing the mindset and knowing that, you're already enough as you are. You're perfect as you are. You already have everything you need. And I mean, that's a lot, it's a lot easier said than done. But um, so I just feel like that's coming up to heal. And then um, the last two cards I pulled were deep knowing with, and this guy came up again, healer of the ages in reverse. So um, this card was just about like, healing like addictions, healing, um, old mindsets, healing beliefs. And the deep knowing is like, you know, on a soul level, like what you came here to do. It's just about kind of like diving deeper and unraveling that. And addictions are actually going to be amplified right now. And like, you'll want to like feel really depressed and, um, you know, like you'll want to give up and nothing's going to seem to like make sense. And this is teaching us how to like allow those 
feelings to just be there without like identifying with them without like because there's a lot of sadness coming up like um knowing that you just feel sadness but you aren't sad um and then because when you dwell and you dwell in the sadness that's when you start to become depressed and it's about letting those feelings flow through us the anger i had a lot of anger come up this week because we're just like like i said we're purging those lower energies because of the heart opening and so um it's about like we have to feel these feelings to like let them heal so you can distract yourself you can try and tell yourself that like you don't feel angry um and and if you've had things like if you've experienced things and the reason why somebody would like form an addiction is because they have a lot of like repressed emotions a lot of like repressed trauma that they've never dealt with and so they use that to cope especially because we're consumers here in america and so we've been taught to consume to deal with our problems this is great for you know our country you know they make lots of money off our suffering but people are suffering and these are there's people that are hurting and that's also why we have a lot of people that have you know, that are on anxiety medications and depression medications and all these medications. Um, it's great for our health industry. They're making a lot of money off our own illness, you know, but we can heal ourselves. Healer of the ages. He's teaching us that like we can heal ourselves and it says we can heal ourselves in the blink of a belief. And so it's really about like um, learning to know and become aware of your addictions and digging deeper and asking yourself, why? Why do I feel the need to consume so much alcohol? Why do I feel the need to like, why can't I not be happy without these things? Why do I feel like I need to eat when I'm bored? Or why do I feel like I need to eat when I'm lonely or sad? You know, like it's about getting to the root of the problem. And um, like I said, allowing yourself to feel these emotions. Like don't pretend you're happy because you, you know, like you think that's how you're supposed to act. If you have these feelings coming up, if you have grief, loss, anger, resentment, guilt, shame, these energies are all coming up. So it's about feeling those. And the more you repress those feelings, the more you're creating disease in your body. And so, um, and the more you repress and the more you consume whatever it is that you consume, the more you're creating disease in your body. And so it's just about like recognizing and becoming aware of these feelings. Why am I feeling these feelings? And if you allow yourself the space and the time to feel these feelings and you, um, maybe you start crying, you go back to a situation, like if you're just crying and you don't know why for no reason. It's, it's like, um, your soul's way of healing yourself emotionally. So it's just about allowing yourself to cry, allowing yourself to go there. And you might be taken, like spirit might take you to a moment where, you had some repressed trauma and it's just about going back to that moment. And yes, it's going to hurt, you know, it's just about like feeling it, whatever you felt in that moment that you didn't allow yourself to feel, or you blocked out because it was like scary or it hurt or whatever it was, you know, whatever you repressed or whatever you blocked out. So you didn't have to feel in that moment is going to come up so you can feel it. And it's just about feeling it right now in this moment. And then as soon as you do, then just cry until you can't cry anymore, you know, and then it's out of you. And then you'll be you'll like, oh, okay, you know, and you'll start to feel better. The more you allow yourself to feel these feelings, you'll start to feel better. And so, um, like I said, there's just a lot of emotional healing coming up. So we're just purging out these emotions because they're living inside of us and they need to get out. And the only way we can move in a new direction and stop being stuck in this lack and scarcity mentality is by shifting our beliefs in ourselves. And knowing that we're already abundant, that we're already, we have everything we need and we're already provided for. And if you look at um, Earth and Mother Earth, like she has already provided us with everything we need here, especially to heal, heal ourselves. Like, you know, like she has provided everything for us. So um, a big thing that I do, especially I use Mother Nature as my mirror to show me how strong I am, to show me how beautiful I am and how fierce I am. Um, how powerful I am and like, you know, like just being by the water, like it helps remind you that things just flow. Um, just like the clouds, they flow. We got to let these emotions flow through us. And water is like a representation of, um, of our emotions. And so being by the water, kind of like just allowing yourself to be in the water, um, you know, and crying, like we 
you know, a lot of people want to repress their crying. They don't want to cry. Just create a space to do it for yourself and, like, be by yourself. Um, so, like I said, the more we, like, repress this, the more we're going to create situations to show us where we're still holding on to these, like, repressed feelings. Like, a lot of isolation is going to come up, a lot of abandonment, a lot of feelings of loneliness. It's just important to know that you're never alone. Um, we're just feeling separate from ourselves. Separation is an illusion. Um, that's what I've learned. And so um, we're learning that separation is an illusion. The only reason we feel separate and that we're constantly grasping for things and we never feel fulfilled is because we're separated from our souls. Because especially in our country, we've just sold our souls for so long um, that we're missing a we're missing a piece of us and it's a vital piece of us. Um, and so it's about unifying the soul with the mind and the body. But to do that, you have to clear out the beliefs and the blockages um, to a kind of allow our higher selves to merge with our bodies and our minds. Um, so it's like our mind's going to try to protect us from this happening because our soul is love and it is light. That's what our soul is. So to get back to that, we have to like accept that. And to our minds, like love is scary for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people have experienced bad things and a lot of it's happened from their loved ones. And so that creates a um, love, like it creates that like love equals fear. And so with this heart opening, it's just love. It's just like extreme amounts of love because that's what we need to heal this country. And so um, it's going to be hard to like let that in and allow ourselves to like feel it, um, especially if you have like repressed trauma or like, um, you know, your repressed emotions. And so this can be hard to deal with. So um, underneath the deck, I always feel like these are important. So it was higher power, seems relevant, <laughs> with the solar plexus chakra in reverse. And that seems, relevant too, because what I feel with that is like, we're learning to step into our power and to learn to step into our power, we have to feel powerless. Um, so it's like a, like a soul, like the contrast and learning in contrast. So, um, I just feel like the higher power has, um, the divine God, I call it God. You can call it whatever you want, um, has created, um, you know, like we have created this, like we created our souls plan like our we know um what we created to come here especially to awaken um and so like i said a lot of people have created like hardships financial career um a loss of a loved one um these are all like catalysts for spiritual awakenings um health um especially because it's our root chakra so our root chakra is like health finances um, security. And so we're going to, we'll probably, we have created situations that are going to make us feel the opposite of secure. And so it's about finding, it's about becoming secure within and trusting yourself. And like I said, like recognizing your value and your power and how powerful you are and how much power you have to create this abundance and create this new, this new spiritual oriented life instead of only material wise and because like when you're like only searching for material like i said you never feel satisfied and so um i just feel like whatever is going on whatever like because i feel like there's a lot of chaos going on in people's lives like or people like aren't resonating with friends anymore people aren't resonating with their families anymore um it's because their soul is searching for something deeper um and our families are like our blood families aren't always the people we were meant to be with, you know? And so it's just about, we're in this period of like, we're shifting. And so we want, like our souls are just going to resonate with different things. And it might not resonate with the job you've been told you have to have by your parents or something, you know, or something your, your family has always wanted you to do, but what do you want to do? And even if your family rejects you, even if you lose friends, like your soul is going to keep calling you to do what you need to do. And um, like I said, it feels lonely it feels like you're on this ride all by yourself, but that's the whole point is you're learning that you're not separate um, from anything. You're not separate from the trees. You're not separate from God. You're not separate from like this table or, you know, like we're all energy. And so it's just about recognizing the illusion that you're not separate from anything, that you don't have to have a certain thing to feel powerful. You don't have to have a certain thing to feel valuable because you already are on a soul level. You are already valuable. You have everything you need. It's just our human minds and the ego that thinks 
it needs a certain thing here or there or certain people to feel like it's worthy of anything. So <clears throat> I feel like just a lot of worth, self value. And like, so this, this chakra is just blocked. It's like, and I can feel this too. Like in one way that I always like block the chakra, cause I do feel very powerful. So my soul is very powerful. Um, it's like, I tend to eat to like, um, make myself not feel as powerful. Cause I kind of get like, uh, in the stomach, you know? Um, so there's like, our bodies are going to want to be giving up certain foods and, and it can be challenging. Don't just like, I, I can't go cold turkey. I just kind of have to like wean myself off until I get to the point where I'm like, I'm miserable. I can't do this anymore. And then I'm like, okay, like I have to make a change. So it's about learning to like shift your mindset. That's what I just feel like is coming up this week is like, you're going to have, you're going to see things on the outside that seem like maybe everything's falling apart or your dreams can't come true or nothing's possible. That's what it's going to seem like. If everything is impossible, this can't possibly work out the way I want it to. And it's about releasing. It's about surrendering to where you are right now and knowing that you're always right where you're meant to be. And if you're losing something, um, it will come back to you when it's meant to come back to you. If you're, you know, like if you just feel depressed and lonely and sad, those emotions are okay. It's okay to feel that way. Don't pretend to feel a certain way. If you have to take like some time off from work to like allow yourself some time to like feel yourself and feel your feelings. If you have a lot of repressed emotions, like do it, take care of yourself. Um, so yeah, we're really just learning to like take our power back, take our power back and learn that we are creators. So we're creators of the situations that we're in. Um, even if you like seem like you're in a terrible situation, how could I have possibly created this? Well, why is everything happening to me? Why, you know, it's like that victimhood mentality. Like life isn't happening to you, you know, you're creating it and life is happening for you. you have to switch, you have to switch your mentality and be like, and whatever is happening to you, just take it by the balls and own it. Take accountability and see, and see where you can grow from it. You're not a bad person. Don't blame yourself. Just like that card that don't blame yourself, you know, but just recognize where you are standing in your own way, where you are telling yourself you're not good enough because you create situations, when you tell yourself that you're not good enough, you create these situations that make you not feel good enough because that's the energy you're sending out. So without shifting your mindset, repeat mantras like, I am valuable, I am powerful. Um, and just <clears throat> do something like different, try to do something different, even if it's the littlest thing, like um, try to incorporate new things into your life and you'll just start to shift in it. It's just slow shifts. It's not like anything it needs to be anything drastic. It's just about making little shifts here and there. And eventually, excuse me, eventually that adds up to a lot in the long run. So like I said, um, we're just learning to like, don't feel burned out. If you do take time to rest, but don't give up. Um, if you're like feeling not good enough, if you're feeling like you don't have enough, like that's a, that's, that's a, a you should be feeling that right now because we're healing that. And so um, just know that like you're loved and that, like you're supported through this and like you did create this, whatever situation you're in, whatever situation you feel trapped in is what I hear, whatever you feel trapped in, you created this so that you could learn to take your power back and shift your mindset and pull yourself out of this situation that you created by focusing on your power, by focusing on, your value by focusing on everything you already have. So if you're in a situation, it's about shifting your mindset and believing that you already have enough, that you're right where you're meant to be, that nothing is missing you. Um, don't blame yourself. Take good care of yourself and nurture yourself, love yourself, get out in nature. Um, just try to focus on the good, even if you're surrounded by like awful things or if you're surrounded by like, um, especially like if you're surrounded by people that are very negative Try to like set boundaries. That's very important right now is set boundaries because we're very highly sensitive right now. Um, I feel like the veil is very thin. And so it's like we're, our, our energy bodies are just very sensitive. And so you'll be taking on a lot from other people, even if it's not yours. If you're around a lot of people that are depressed, you'll start to feel depressed. If you're around a lot of people that feel happy, like, you know, it's about. And that's why we're not resonating with certain people anymore is because um, some people are ready to evolve and some aren't. Some are going to want to dwell in their suffering because it's easier. It's familiar. Um, but if you're sick of suffering, if you're sick of dwelling in misery, like shift your thoughts, do something new every day, try something new, exercise, 
<clears throat> try a meditation, do yoga, try something new, do something new to like shift. Um, and you're, you're going to have to like pull yourself out of this, this space, pull yourself out of this space. Nobody's going to do it for you. We have to become self-sufficient. Um, but it's more about incorporating your spiritual life to shift you out of this, to shift you out of this by using your power, by using your energy, um, because we are all energy. So um, focus on like energy healing. There's lots of like resources on the internet. If any of this resonates for you and you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like you're just in a place of like, like doubt and like not enough. Like just know that those feelings are normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, just allow yourself to feel them so that you can heal them and you can move forward. So I hope this information was helpful. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I'm sending lots of love.